welcome back so today i'm going to show you how to make an easy malabar chicken biryani so this chicken biryani don't forget to try it out for this ramadan season so first step is to marinate your chicken so i have 600 grams of chicken which i've cut into cubes and washed it thoroughly to this we need to add few cinnamon sticks two green cardamoms one black cardamom two bay leaves few cloves this is maize small piece of maize this is star anise few star anise along to that along with that we need to add about 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste but i have sort of crushed it one tablespoon of red chili powder two to three teaspoons of black pepper powder one teaspoon of turmeric powder one teaspoon of coriander powder one teaspoon of garam masala powder salt to taste and some coconut oil about two to three tablespoons and now we need to mix it well and let it marinate while this is marinating we can do the rice and fry our onions and cashew nuts and all that so first mix this very well and leave it to marinate so the chicken is marinated i mixed it well set this aside while we make the rice and fry our onions so till then this will be marinated so the second step is to make rice you can take any type of rice you want basmati or any other type i have taken samba rice chiraga samba rice that is about three cups so this is the measure that i'm using this is a 250 milliliter cup so i've taken three cups of rice which is about 500 to 600 grams of rice so to this rice first we need to wash it really well a couple of times till the water becomes clear so this rice i'm going to wash it a couple of times wash it very well Now wash. Now the rice is washed well. So rice is washed. We'll add the rice to a rice cooker dish like this. There is about three cups of rice, which is about five hundred to six hundred grams of rice. So to this rice, we'll add 
couple of cloves cinnamon bay leaves maize star anise one black cardamom and few green cardamoms now to that add one chicken stock cube this is optional if you want you can add it just gives you a good flavor one teaspoon of garam masala about two to three green chilies split in half this is optional this is called pandan leaves this is a uh, uh, used mostly in thai dishes but this gives it a good flavor for the rice this is optional if you don't have that's fine just add couple of pandan leaves or rampe salt to taste about 1 tablespoon of coconut oil now it's time to add water as i said i used 3 cups of rice so double the amount of the same measure which is 6 cups of water and six the last cup mix well now before we place the lid add some fresh mint leaves as well put the rice cooker lid on and set it in the rice cooker so our chicken is marinating and the rice is in the rice cooker cooking so now we need to fry our onions fry some sultanas and you need to use cashew nuts but i don't have any cashew nuts so i'm using some peanuts so you can use almonds any any nuts or if you don't like nuts leave it out so the traditional recipe calls for cashew nuts so we i have about 300 grams of sliced onions which i'm going to deep fry then i have about 50 grams of sultanas and 50 grams of peanuts so i'm going to fry them and uh, set that aside so to a good um uh, saucepan or a deep frying pan like this add some coconut oil This is a Kerala style Malabar um, chicken biryani. So coconut oil gives it that authentic flavor. So add some coconut oil for deep frying. So oil has started to heat up. I'm going to add some curry leaves for the oil because curry leaves um, has a good flavor. Not just that, it is uh, rich in vitamin A. So and its vitamin A is a lipid soluble. uh vitamin so you need to add this to oil so now i'm adding some curry leaves to the oil now let's add a onions but 250 to 300 grams of onions that are sliced we need to deep fry this Onions is almost done. Just fry a little more. Just give it a minute or two, and 
and then we can fry the sultanas and the peanuts. Again, I'm saying you need to use cashew nuts. I don't have any cashew nuts, so I'm using peanuts. I switch off the stove and we can remove the fried onions. So the onions are fried. Now set that aside. To the same oil, let's add the Sultanas, 50 grams of Sultanas. This will take about a minute. Once it starts to swell up, we can remove it off the heat. So the sultanas are fried. Now it's time to fry the peanuts. 50 grams of peanuts. If you have cashew nuts, use that. Now the peanuts are fried. Let's remove that. So the onions are fried, the sultanas are fried and the peanuts are also fried. Now set that aside. Now let's make the chicken curry. So now I place a large saucepan to make the chicken curry because we are going to make the chicken curry. And once that is done, we are going to add the rice and mix everything in this one large pot. So place a, quite a large pot onto the sto uh, stove and switch it on. I'm going to add the same coconut oil that I used to fry the onions and the sultanas back into this large pot. So now there's about four tablespoons, four to five tablespoons of coconut oil. So once the oil heats up, we're going to add a couple of bay leaves, black cardamom, star anise, green cardamom, cinnamon, cloves and maize. This is about 150 grams of onions that I've sliced. Add that also. This is pandan leaves, rampe, optional, that gives it a very good flavor. Keep it about 3 minutes till the onions become golden brown. Now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. So about two tablespoons. And mix well. So after a couple of minutes, now it's time to add the green chilies. There's about four green trees that I've slipped in half. Add that in and give it a couple of minutes to infuse the flavor. This is 
two large onion, uh, sorry, two large tomatoes that I've sliced, add that in. another chicken stock. I've already added a chicken stock to the rice. This is another cube. This is optional. This is for flavor. Now, about another two teaspoons of black pepper powder. And another one teaspoon of garam masala powder. Salt to taste. Mix well. Now it's time to add a marinated chicken. Let's add the marinated chicken. So I've added the chicken. So we need about half a cup of water. Just half, not too much. And I'm going to mix it the same bowl that had the masala so that we get all the masala of the chicken that's been marinating and now add that into our chicken cover it with a lid and cook it for about 15 minutes on a medium flame so for about 15 minutes, the chicken has been cooking on a medium flame. Let's open it. The chicken is well cooked and the gravy sort of evaporated and reduced. Now on an open, leave the lid open and cook on a medium flame for about 2 to 3 minutes. And then we can add the rice. Now it's done. It's been 2-3 minutes. Let's switch off the stove. Now it's time to add the cooked rice and layer it. Now it's time to add the cooked rice and the fried onions and mint leaves. So now on top add a Add some mint leaves. And let's add the cooked rice. This was in the rice cooker. Add the rice. And the rest of the rice.
mint leaves peanuts as I said add cashew nuts I don't have so I'm adding peanuts sultanas fried onions place the lid on a very low flame on a very low flame just let it come to a steam for about four to five minutes very low flame then once you can see the steam coming out you can switch it off so let up let some steam come out from the top and we can switch it off and your biryani is done malabar chicken biryani so as you can see now it has started to steam up now it's time to switch off the stove and our biryani is done you can open it when you're going to serve now let's serve our malabar chicken biryani it smells really good so let's Now let's flip up. Some more sultanas. Peanuts. mint leaves some fried onions our malabar chicken biryani is done our malabar chicken biryani is done this is very easy to make just three steps is what you have to follow First you marinate the chicken, then you make the rice in the rice cooker and then you fry the onions and your cashew nuts and your sultanas and then make the chicken curry, add everything together and open it when you are going to serve. Please do try this out during this Ramazan season and please let me know how you liked it in the comment section. So until I see you guys next time with yet another recipe, this is your Vic signing off.